Hi guys, it's Graham. A little while ago, I uh, purchased uh, all the basic components from George that are included in a 10 watt plus laser. I wanted to uh, make my own version of it. So um, I didn't need the heat sink and I didn't need the enclosure. I just needed the basic, basic parts so that I could actually create my own. And what I come up with is, uh, is this. Some of you may have already seen a few odd posts that I've made um, on, the, on the channel, but um, this is the final thing. This is the laser 10 watt plus mounted on uh, the way that it fits into the spindle of my CNC router. Um, I've also included uh, air assist, so I can move air assist around if I uh, decide to need it. The construction is a solid block of aluminium which is machined to contain the laser module and uh, sitting uh, in between that and the heat sink is the Tech Peltier cooler and the heat sink is uh, going to take away the heat uh, with, a reason, with a reasonably good fan at the top. So that's the, uh, the laser head itself. Now, also in addition to all of that, I uh, created a new version of the control box. This has uh, the power coming into it. It's monitoring the uh, cooling voltage and current, the laser voltage and current output, which is standard uh, for uh, the system George supplies, uh, the laser voltage input and I've replaced recently the temperature readout that is normally supplied with this with a temperature controller that allows me to set as an on off point to turn the the uh, tech cooler of power on and off so I can maintain a constant uh, temperature of the laser within certain uh, certain range that is adjustable. I've currently got it set to be sitting on around 20 degrees um, uh, within a two degree range, and it seems to be doing that fairly well. Uh, I've got two fans at the top, and these other cables um, connect to the, uh, the main controller, which is down here. Under here's the main uh, controller, which uh, allows me to control laser power and various other things. Uh, and that mounts on the back of the machine and uh, cables from the main controller and the power supplies for the cooling and whatever run up through these cables into the machine. And uh, then the laser head mounts up under my spindle and the whole lot is set. I'll, I'll include some photographs of what it all looks like. So. This is just the introduction. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put together a lot of the still videos and shots that I've taken and um, during the making of this uh, laser so that you have a bit of an understanding of what's actually it looks like inside and how I put it all together. So I hope uh, you enjoy the rest of the video. I CNC machined the block for containing the diode and that's what's done in two halves. Now you can see the diode inserted into the halves and they are both screwed together with thermal conductive paste. The pocket at the top is for the Peltier tech cooling device. And now we have the heatsink for the hot side of the Peltier. In between the two, is a neoprene rubber gasket to insulate both the hot and the cold sides of the assembly. I'm using a Peltier device which is sandwiched in between the top heat sink and fan assembly you can see there and the main body which is machined out of a solid piece of aluminium. The diode is not actually running at the moment, I'm just running a test to see how the uh, cold and the warm side is going. This is the fourth version I've done so far. The other three versions haven't done too well. 
but this is looking really good. I'm very, very pleased with the results. Moving over here, I'm currently monitoring a temperature of 6.5 degrees on the cold side. And I have a constant four amps. This has been running now for about five minutes. If I feel the warm side, it's quite, um, quite easy to touch. If the cooling is working really well on the warm side and on the cold side down here, it's actually starting to frost up a little bit because it's so cold. Now the laser diode is not running, but uh, this is sort of proving how well the, uh, the design is actually It's been working. running now for probably around 20 minutes and uh, we're getting significant frost on the cold side, which is the diode side. And currently the temperature is running at 3.9 degrees. It's been pretty stable at four to 3.9 degrees for about the last five to six minutes and the most important part is the current is still the same just over four amps so um, I think we're going to um, I'll call this a wrap thanks this is the first bench test of my 10 watt plus laser setup I've calibrated these meters using my bench power supply as I found they weren't exactly accurate and uh, currently I have the laser set at 4.96 volts and it's taking about 4.47 amps. I have wound it up to five volts and I get around about five amps, but I've backed it off slightly from that. It's been running now for well over half an hour and the laser temperature is uh, sitting fairly constantly at uh, 20 degrees C. The Peltier cooling device is uh, running about 11.9 volts just under 4 amps and uh, this is the power supply for the Peltier Tech cooler over here we have the laser which is just shooting into nowhere and if I without touching the front feel the side it's uh, it's a nice um, constant uh, cool temperature even the hot side is uh, I can hold on to it with my hand. So the whole system is running pretty good at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with that. Without the laser running, the temperature quickly dropped from around 20 degrees to 14, four degrees in probably around two minutes. So, uh, really uh, happy about the way the cooling system is uh, is working this is going to be the second test and i've let everything settle down to around about room temperature which is currently about 24 24.4 degrees c i'm going to now fire up the laser and see what the temperature setting gets to after about half an hour on startup we've got 4.9698 volts at around about 4.49 amps. The Peltier cooler is running 11.6 volts, 4.01 amps. So everything is uh, pretty good there. I'll be back in half an hour. So the alarm has gone off. Walking towards the laser, we've got 20.5 degrees C, so that's pretty good after half an hour. Laser out, 4.96 volts, 4.47 amps. Cooler, Peltier, 11.4 volts at 3.79 amps. And it's been running for half an hour. So we started off with 24 degrees and we've been constantly sitting on 20.5 degrees probably for the past 20 25 minutes i'm going to let this run for just a little bit longer and just see just how consistent this uh, temperature stability is back to you soon okay it's been an hour and we're still sitting at 20.4 degrees, so I don't think that's going to change. 
that's uh, a pretty good result. So I'm going to deactivate this now. This is another test where I started the cooling device and ran it for about two minutes to get the laser temperature down to around about 14.2 degrees. I've now been running it with the laser on for at least half an hour and the temperature is up to 19.9 degrees C. So it looks to me like even if I start the system up with the temperature at 24 degrees C, it will stabilize at around 20 degrees. And if I start it at a much lower temperature, around 14 degrees, after half an hour it'll get to, here we go, 20 degrees. And uh, that seems to be the consistent temperature that it's going to maintain for running the laser for half an hour. And previously at this temperature I had run it for almost an hour and it was sitting at that. So it looks like we're going to have a consistent temperature of around about 20 degrees for uh, for its operation almost no matter how long it runs for. This is a pretty good result and I'm quite satisfied that the design has proven successful. All right, that's it. Next phase will be to fit it to my CNC router. When the temperature gets to about 21, the tech will switch on. It's on. Now when the temperature drops to around 20, the tech will switch off. I'm able to set these temperatures and the differential at which it switches at by settings on the controller. 